What's up, everybody? We are here at the Tower of the Gods, El Tauro del Deos, and we are headed now up to Six Eye Reef, which is just there on the horizon, actually, not very far from Del Tauro El Del Tel Deos. <laughs> Ricola! I noticed something the other day. When you jump in this boat, it makes the sound of Link jumping. Why is that? He's not... Is he like ollieing to make the boat jump? Or is it... <laughs> is that just the sound of him trying to hang on as the boat goes flying through the... I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to get from that. I'm also amazed that we still have 96 bombs. It's like we've only used three to accomplish everything we've done so far. Oh! I'm really close to you. I'm really close to you. I'm really close to you. <laughs> yeah, we all knew what was going to happen there. Oh well. The outcome will be the same. You shall die! This away. Here we go. Let's get inside here. This will be the most congested reef. It should have. It'll have six. How did I? No, this isn't where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the wrong. Am I in the wrong? I'm in the wrong place. Oh well. It's somewhere we haven't been before. But ah, wow. That's... Oh, a cannon fire! And they're shooting the back of a rock. That I'm not even. Come on, come on, guys. Get with it. Get your shit together. Oh, ouch! I think I might have just shot his can his his cannon. I might have just shot his bomb right out of the air. Because it didn't look like he hit me. Oh yeah, you definitely can hit his bombs out of the air. That's cool. All right. Uh, I've wasted a bunch of bombs. Let's go find the rest of the explodey things on the walls here. See, what is he shooting at over there? There's nothing over there. Just dumb. Alright, come here. <laughs> Who's next? Who wants some? You want a piece of this? You want a piece of this? Can I shoot that high up? Oops. Yeah, definitely. Shot right over him. What are you looking at over here? Boom. Gotcha. I hate when you take the sail out and you just happen to be facing exactly the wrong direction against the wind. It just looks really dumb. <laughs> like, like, let's go or not. All right, we're, who's left? All right, cannon turrets, speak now or forever hold your peace. Where are you? Where are you, remaining cannon turret? I can't find you. Really? What the hell? Is there another boat outside the reef? That's all I can think of. There doesn't seem to be anyone left in here to shoot at me. Actually, wait a minute. Hello? Hello? There we go. That's all you had to say? <laughs> uh, such a great movie. Alright, let's find our way around to the ramp next to this reef. All these reefs. I feel like the plural of reef should be reeves, but I don't know if it is. Like, R-E-E-V-E-S. That should be the plural of reef. But I feel like it's just reefs. I don't know. I just It's not one of those ones that's used as a classic example of the F becomes V when you pluralize, like, wolf, wolves, or leaf, leaves. I feel like the actual form is reefs. But it should be Reeves, shouldn't it? Uh, just Doesn't that make more sense? To be consistent? Of course, if, <laughs> if there's one language in the world that's not consistent, it's English. It's the most bastardized language of them all. It's just pieces of other language. Other languages. We mug other languages and s steal their grammar in the night. When you open this chart, a place where treasure tribes will be lit. Blah, blah, blah. That's not even where I was trying to go. Are there actually two Reeves? Reeves? I'm doing it. I'm calling them Reeves. Are there two Reeves on squares adjacent to each other? Yeah, that's why I got confused. I went here instead of there. Okay, so we have the next one's just right next door. That's handy, actually. We don't have to play any more fancy songs. Hopefully, I won't drown when I get back to my boat. Swim, Link, swim! Yeah, actually, we can just keep sailing west. So that'll do. That'll do just fine. I'm not going to pick up all the treasures. Oh, well. You know, I suppose I really should. Uh, having 
not enough money later on will really suck. So I'm going to just be doubly overly cautious and we'll go ahead and haul all these up. Why not? Maybe one of them will be something really cool. Like 50 rupees. That wasn't even close, man. No, no, no. On oh, this other side, thank you. Swing the boom round! There it is. It's like we spent an entire day clearing this reef. Come on, there we go. Fifty! Awesome! Yeah, worth worth the time, that's for sure. Take our boomerang out and kind of swing at this. Er, hello. Stop! No, don't do that! I hate that you can't just push the button to take it out like he does with the sword. You have to throw it. Hearts. What do you mean hearts? I need hearts. Dang it, I got like one rupee out of those. Oh well. Slow down. Ooh, on the side, thank you. Bring the boom around! We'll hop all these random treasures, why not? It's free money, man. You can't say no. Well, I guess you could say no to free money. But who would? It's like those weird... Like, I, I don't know if they're political campaigns or if they're charity campaigns or what. But where they send you a letter and it's got like a nickel in it. What's the deal with that? I never understood what they're trying to do there. I don't get it. It's like, oh, we sent you a nickel, you better send it back to us. Oh, and send some more money while you're at it. <laughs> I don't know. Weird. This makes me wonder, like, the cost of postage. Like, how much... If, a, if you're giving to, like, a charity or something that spends... A, wow, it's like over a hundred for this reef. Nice. If you're giving to a charity that spends loads of money just sending out tons of letters all the time and, and constantly asking more and more people for money, I mean, isn't there, like, a postage cost associated with that? Are they losing money on that deal? Or do they get enough donations to pay for all the letters and stuff they send out asking for donations. An interesting question, I think. There we go. I'm dying. I'm freaking going nuts waiting for my next LP to start. It's seriously making me go stir crazy. Oh, another 50. Nice. And you're probably just like, well, just start it already. We're all waiting. And I'm like, ah, I can't. It's not ready. The time is not... Oh, one more. Awesome. The time is not... Well, they ran on top of each other? That's convenient. I'll just go ahead and get this with the grappling hook, right? I'll just pull it... No, you can't do that? Oh, well. It'd be really cool if you could, though. I'm waiting for some mods and things to update so I can install them before we do it. It's going to be great. I'm very excited about the LP that's going to come after this one. I need to start another one, actually. I, because I usually have two going at a time. You know, I think most of, most of you sort of have picked up on that pattern over the... Over the years? I guess I can use that expression now. Over the years? I've been LPing for more than two years. I feel like that's a fair expression to use now, I guess. Seems so to me. There it goes again, taking the sail out when you're facing the wrong direction. Looking like a dumbass. Ah. Uh, I suppose if you weren't willing to look like a dumbass, you wouldn't make LPs, though, would you? Alright, let's sail around. Try not to bump into the invisible island there. It's seriously dark. I don't even know where the next... I could figure out relative to here. Looks like it's... Basically, it's, it's the next square over, but it looks like it's actually southwest. I can't actually... Oh, there it is. Lightning illuminated it for me. So I think we're now facing towards it. Awesome! We'll just sail right over and go ahead and get a treasure there as well. Convenient that they're right next door to each other. Oh my god, you're ugly! What's wrong with your face? <laughs> I can't do the voice, right? Yeah, I'm super excited about the next LP. The only question is, I'm trying to figure out... I really need to get... I need to get another one going, but I'm trying to figure out what to do. I was considering trying out uh, one of Vex's super hostile maps, doing a little Minecraft, but... I still sort of feel like Minecraft is the, the LP that won't die. Like, it doesn't need to come back yet. And the only problem with the... the main problem with the Vex maps is that... Uh, the newest ones are all seriously, like, overplayed on YouTube. Whenever a new host super hostile map comes out, you know, everybody wants to jump in and show it off and be the first person to have a series that's about it, so they get all the fresh views or the new excitement, and that's just crap. So it's like, I don't want to jump on that bandwagon. But then at the same time, the older super hostile maps that 
that sort of aren't played, or aren't overplayed, are not made for 1.3. They're not made for the newest version of Minecraft, so they don't have stuff for brewing or enchanting on some of them. So it's like, you're not really getting the full super hostile experience that Vex would have made if he'd made the map today. So it's sort of a catch-22. It's like either you play the popular ones or you, you play one that doesn't have all the features. So I don't know if I really like that option at all. Neither of those sounds good to me. I'm looking for other things. Someone left a comment on another video just a few days ago. A few days before I recorded this. Not a few days before this goes up, which will probably be about a couple days after I make it. Anyway, uh, saying that I should do some adventure maps for Made by the Pilots. I was like, well, do it. If you got one, send it to me. I'll try it. Oh, damn. Just, if it's something that I should make a video of, just say so, and I'll, I'll record my first attempt at it. That would be kind of cool. If any of you all are actually... This is a Cyclops Reap. I'm looking around like, where's the rest of the stuff here? Like, oh, it's just the one in the middle. Okay. Makes sense. Don't know why they didn't call it One-Eye Reef. They decided to call it Cyclops Reef. You see that? He shot the boat again while I was in the water. And as soon as I get back in the round in the boat, he's like, Oh, where'd he go? I'm off track of the hero again. I really have mixed success with this cannon. It's just hard to aim it sometimes. Can't tell what it's going to do. But yeah, if y'all have got cool Minecraft stuff, send it to me. I'll at least try it out. Serious swells here. It was like the whole height of that pillar in the center is how much the ocean was going up and down here. Uh, one of the things we got to do to get one of the treasure charts we've missed is go back to that cannon shooting middle g mini game and win it again. I'm not looking forward to that. That one was kind of tough. <laughs> it was probably harder than the uh, what you call it mini game, the saving the kids on the island. Is that all? We down here? Oh, we got another. Oh, hello. Got a couple more. It looks like. Ha 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 ha. It's nice when you sort of trade fire and come out on top. Now, how am I going to get up there? Hmm. Just trying to figure out where on the rim of this island I'm supposed to leap from. Looks like right over there would work. Can I climb up right there? Nope. I think what they expect you to do is to just run all the way around the damn thing, but forget that. I can't climb up that. Okay. Yeah, this is all too low. You have to get over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the same trick we did last time. I'm going to sail with my leaf over here. If I... You're not going to jump off. You're just going to walk down the edge? All right. I'll go a little farther and do a roll. Ooh, might not make this. It's going to be close. Oh, good. He didn't slide off. That would have been irritating. Do some magic. Ah, dang it. Are you going to be one of those barrels I can break? For bombs! Awesome. Just what I needed to refill my magic. I think I might actually be able to still make this. We'll see. Yep. Tried to wait as long as possible before taking the leaf out. Damn it! Ah! Alright, I'm drinking the soup. <laughs> That's why we've got it. It's really just more for the magic refill than the awesome health bonus and the whole damage. I guess it's a damage bonus and health refill as well. Seriously, there's high seas today. Is that Does that change from, from day to day in this game? Because if it did, that would be seriously cool. If, like, different days of the week or not... Maybe not something that fixed, but... If there were any t sort of randomization in how bad the weather was or how high the seas were, that would be seriously cool. Gulp, gulp, gulp. That sounded good. You gulped it like... like that was seriously rude, Link. That was... Bad table manners, my friend. Damn it! Don't don't roll down the edge before jumping off halfway down. I wanted you to get as much height as possible. There's a fairly a fine line between too steep to climb down and just so steep that he'll try and run down it straight on. That way. Go that way. There we go. And then we roll our way up to the top. I have to wonder if this is one of those Zelda games where rolling is actually faster than running, but running backwards is even faster than rolling. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny in Ocarina of Time when I saw that in the, one of the first speedruns I saw of the game. The guy was doing that. I was like, why is he running backwards everywhere? What the hell? <laughs> is he just showing off now? 
Hmm, it turns out that's faster. Strange. All right, there's our treasure chart from Cyclops Reef. Pretty freaking great. Do do do. Let's sail back over to our boot. I'm not gonna explore this reef. I'm bored of the reefs, but we got a couple more to do. The reefs. So we're gonna sail on. I'm gonna get the reefs done because they're not very exciting. The reefs. The reefs. Yeah, there's two left. Yeah. Okay. Let's see where we want to go next. Maybe Great Fish Isle. We're actually already kind of close, but it would still be faster to warp there. Yep, Greyfish is next. It's not actually on Greyfish. Actually, is there anything for us on Greyfish? Let me check. It'd be smart for me to be sort of going along as we... Rather than by by theme, but by location. Whatever. The theme is more interesting to watch, I think. Of course, mixing it up is also good. So, we're interested in going west now? Yep, that would be this away. I just need to get my sail out. Poof. I believe I see the reef over there. Again, this is uncharted seas, so I will show you the journey as we go. What should I talk about now? I've already talked about Penn and Teller, and how excited I am about the next LP. Yeah, and why I don't want to do a super hostile map. So what I'm trying to figure out is, I guess all, all of the adventure maps seem to be that way, actually. It's like, the really good ones get really popular, and I don't want to do one that's really popular because you guys will have already seen it already, so like all the surprises and the puzzles and stuff won't be surprising or puzzling, uh, which sort of makes it boring to watch, I think. I don't know, so I guess the, some of the enjoyment might just be in seeing someone else try and figure out the same puzzle, seeing how they thought of it as opposed to how you thought of it, but for me, I wouldn't want to watch an adventure series if I had already done the map myself. But then again, I wouldn't. I also wouldn't want to play an adventure map if I had already seen a series on it. It's like I, it's like I only really only want to do it once, <laughs> watching or playing. Ah, maybe I'm strange in that regard. So yeah, so we got two reefs left, and then we get to go to more interesting islands. Some of these are cooler than others. A couple more mini games, some platforms. All the submarines are done. We did those all at once, just because they were, because they're there. Alrighty, now this is... which one is this? This is Three Eye Reef. The most boring of the reefs. Like, I'm tempted to just speed this up and to gangster rap over it. <laughs> or better yet, I could, I could write like a... like a remix of the Fresh Parents of Bel Air, but make it a Wind Waker song. That'd be funny as hell. I can actually write it properly. Get good jokes in there. That would be so fun. <laughs> I'm tempted to try that, but fuck, that would be a lot of work. Those song parodies take forever to make. I've learned that. Alright, don't be shooting at me from over there now. You're shooting me from farther away than the cannons do. That's not fair. No fair! Oh, dang it. I missed him. Got him. Now it's you. Now it's your turn. Ow! Asshole. I shot him right back, so that's fine. Is there really a, only a quarter heart from one of those? That's pretty pretty bad. Your bombs do a quarter heart. One fourth of a heart. Like seriously, that's like nothing in this game. And that's the explosion of a of a bomb does one fourth of a heart. Just a little silly, don't you think? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's not. Maybe everyone thinks it's silly. There we go. Let's sail around here. Down the corner. Out in the street. <laughs> I might just sail up to each one and just pop them from close range. Why not? So the rule says I can't. Haha, <laughs> is that everybody? Good. So I'm done with these reeves, seriously. <laughs> Ugh, I still got one more to do it for this one, though. I might, not I might not explore the treasures of this reef. I might just say forget it. Now, I feel like with the fine line between what I can climb and what I can't climb, Link might actually attempt to get up that that, that one there. It would be more interesting if like, one of them was like mirrored or something, but they all go counterclockwise when you're trying to uh, go around like this. Anyway, the wind's probably blowing exactly the wrong direction, sure enough. 
I want to turn it around a bit there. So what's going on in you guys' lives? I've actually got a big date tonight. I'm excited about it. It's going to be good times. I'm going to Olive Garden. I freaking love Olive Garden. I don't know, maybe I'm just a stereotypical suburban white person in thinking that Olive Garden is a great restaurant, but that doesn't... <laughs> that does nothing to hamper my enjoyment of those goddamn breadsticks. Seriously, those are good. Those are just delicious, man. You can't... You can't deny the breadsticks. You can't deny the breadsticks. And the and the salad. The salad's also good. The salad is delicious. I just freaking eat just bowls of it. Just bowls of it. Just bowls of it. Bowls of it. You got a chart. Freaking good for you. Awesome. Only one reef remains. Only one reef. So yeah, freaking Olive Garden. Just great. Hmm. In retrospect, it would have been interesting to do a dinner and a, to do a dinner and a movie. I wonder if there are any good movies playing. Maybe I could. Hmm. There's a thought. There's a thought for consideration. Consider the following. Ah, oh, Bill Nye. There's something that I could talk about. Freaking Bill Nye. Yep, that's all I have to say about Bill Nye. Cool dude, but apparently like more actually an actor than really a scientist in any regard. We're headed now to just north of Outset. There seems to be this gap in the map down here where we haven't filled in any of the islands near Outset, which is a little bit strange. You would think if we were exploring from Outset we would fill those in first, but I guess to be completely accurate, we really started exploring from Windfall, didn't we? Uh, the pirates sailed for us all the way from Outset to the Forbidden Fortress. We didn't really have anything to do with that. Or at the very least, they didn't, they didn't let us steer. Now that would have been fun to sail that friggin' giant pirate ship across the ocean. Why didn't they put that in the game? Man, that would be great. That would be seriously fun. Okay, that looks like the reef right over there. This is gonna be 5 Eye Reef, and it's the last one. Uh, are you gonna miss the reefs, guys? I'm not. So after this, we've got Windfall Island, Horseshoe Island, Private Oasis, another on Windfall Island. Spectacle Island, Seven Star Isles, Crescent Moon Isle, another on Horseshoe, and then the Forest Haven. So I gotta remember, there's two on Horseshoe and there's two on Windfall. Hmm. I may have to do some stuff over again to pick up some of those. Oh wells. If I screwed it up the first time, that's how it goes. So we need to fill in the map while we're here. Let's remember that. Oh, we didn't actually... Crap! Arr, we didn't fill in the map at friggin' Reef over there. We'll fill it, we'll fill it in. We'll get it later. It's, it's, the island's not going anywhere. Ha ha ha! Stupid sharks. I just want to use an ice arrow. Just get out of friggin'. Of course, the problem with the ice arrows is that they take so long to reload that when I inevitably miss, I'm gonna get eaten. Ha ha! Oh, there's two of you. Shit. <laughs> Damn it, there's at least three. There's four. Why are there so many sharks? Why is there so much shark? Well, stop knocking me in the water now. This is ridiculous. Would you hit him? Thank you. Better to free aim this stuff than let Link try and do it. <laughs> they just they just leave little treasure orbs everywhere, just littering the ocean. And I got two oh, I got two light rings looking at me. What's a what's an adventurer to do? Well, come on, come back to me, boomerang. Oh, that was intentional. Gotta be quick now. I got the other treasure one already broken. Oops. Just gotta hit some of them. You'll pick up the rest sort of by the fact that they're close to each other. The boomerang will run into them. There we go. That's some of them at least. Nice when the sea's nice and flat, so you can just go across and get all of them. Cool. Wow, we're making money. We're up to 500 rupees already. That means in the last couple episodes we've we've just picked up 400 rupees across the sea. Probably from most mostly probably from these random stuff we keep picking up. Just stopping all the time to do this. <sighs> it's the nature of Wind Waker, though. 
Just loads of little side quests. So many side quests in the game. I was actually a little bit nervous about doing the Earth and Wind te Temples in such quick succession, because uh, there's a lot of side quests, and I thought, well, you know, you try and put some in between there, but it just worked out that we it was better just to go ahead and do it. Do it to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Oh, that sound is going to just... Ugh. It's to become one of those sounds that you know too well. Like the sound, like the sound of your alarm. Just one of those sounds that as soon as you hear it, you immediately know what it is, and it just your emotional response is, again, immediate. The sound of your alarm clock is, is one of those things, I think, that most people would respond to like that. Alright, Mr. Fish. Are you going to waste my time with the advice I already know, or you got anything new for me? I'm going to sneeze. No, no, wait, I'm not going to try not to sneeze. Hmm. Willpower. Might never matter. Oh, I always just blow my nose. Fill in the chart, dude. My voice is getting hoarse. I need someone else to talk for a while. Five eye. Great. Yeah, I'll go back to the other reef off screen and just fill in the map. I assume the fish has nothing interesting to say. Long ago, there was this huge fairy. Oh, wow. Im imagine if we were lucky enough to meet such a legendary creature as a fairy. What would you even Are there more sharks? Are you kidding me? Where did you guys come from? Just stop. Stop being sharks. Or just go be sharks somewhere else if you're failing that. Look at all the treasures! What is this? What? This is, what, like seven at least? Because there's five here and we've already got two. That's seven of them just, just laying around on this island. What is... why? Why so many treasures? <laughs> I don't understand. If, if there are even more inside the reef, that's just crazy. 50 rupees. We've gotten 150 rupees from this from the treasures around this island. That's crazy. Oh, and they all disappeared because it just turned daytime. Crap. <laughs> I guess I'll pick them up though, can't I? No! What? Oh, balls. I'm trying to remember this song again. There we go. Be nighttime again. I want the treasure. It's gonna like fade away? Fade back. Oh, it looks the same. Wow, it's still night. <laughs> Look at that! It's f nothing. Great. Yeah, there's a treasure there. Apparently you can't pull them up during the day, even if you're in the exact right spot. That's strange. We didn't move at all. Just, so that was definitely the same spot. Hmm. It also seems like sometimes the treasure opening animation happens from the left side of the boat, and other times it happens from the right side. You see, I've seen it way too many times. Cause that's, how, that's how you know I've seen it too many times, is that I notice stuff like that. Ugh. That sound, man. That sound! Yeah, at this point it's become so overplayed that I, I don't even... I've heard it so many times now that this opening a treasure chart... Opening a treasure chest doesn't even excite me. That, that music that's supposed to build up the attention and go, Ooh, what's in the chest? What's in the chest? We're opening a chest. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's 20 rupees. It's like, oh. What? Again? <laughs> it's no longer 10 rupees. Wow. Yeah. It's no longer exciting at all. It's, I've become jaded. It's official. I'm too old to play Zelda games. <laughs> I feel like kids are just delighted in that. The, the, the repetition. How easy it is to understand the cause and the effect. Ah, that's what video games do. See, they're not, now we're on the other side. I don't get the difference. I, both, I pulled both of the treasures up from the right side of the boat. So I don't know why. Look at how many freaking rupees were just hauling up. Just free money all over the place. Alright, let's tack away around to the entrance, shall we? This will be the last island for this video. Hopefully there aren't five more treasure chests to pull up in there. I, mean, I, should, I should be saying, hopefully there's lots of treasure, but... I'm kind of sick of it now. <laughs> that's a that's a, that would be a serious, seriously jaded treasure hunter to just be like, ah, I hope there aren't treasures here. I don't know, <laughs> you know. All right, let's get inside. Turn, turn, boat, turn. 
Turn. Seagull. Herring. What? Alright, show me the cannons. Two for one? Two for one? No. One close enough. Bad aim. Ow! From the grave. Mm -hmm. Where are your friends? Yeah, they're all paired up on this one, it seems. Oh, come on. That was a hit. That was a hit. It's a satisfying smacking sound when they blow up. It's like rather than shooting them with a the cannon, we just, like, spanked them so hard they blew up. Just... <laughs> you mean... Do you not hear that? Is that... That sounds, that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it's always sounded like to me. It's like you spanked them so hard they exploded. Oh, God. Two on one. No fair, guys! No double teaming! <laughs> At least I got one two for one. That's good. There we go. I was like, alright, is there any more? Let's sail around. Come sail away, come sail away. Turn right around here. What? Get, why am I not in the boat? That was weird. I didn't push the A button. I was in the cutscene. Mm -hmm. Strange times. People are strange when you're a stranger. Yeah, it looks like all the treasures for this island were just on the outside of the reef, since there aren't any treasure rings in here. So it wasn't that there were surprisingly many. They were just all together outside in a big line, which is weird. It's still very strange. Plus, there's a two we picked up on the way here. So I guess it's, it's still a lot of random treasures to be around. Just a nameless... Well, not a nameless, but a rather insignificant reef. Where is the... I can't see. <laughs> if only there was some way. Is it in the middle there? Yeah, okay. So I just need to get over there. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I could just jump from here and then change the wind. Crap, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to drink more of the soup. There's not enough magic refills out in the sea. Yeah, there it goes. That's a, that's a damn shame. <laughs> I've lost half a heart, but I've used up a whole magic meter just with a damn leaf. Whatever. Let's turn the winds in our favor, shall we? Again, this should just be an item. You should just wave it, and it should just change the wind. Just go, woof! Of course, if you're on the boat, it has the more nuanced capability of being able to do other songs, or if there's like a sage nearby, you have the option to play the other song. I don't know. I guess that would sort of shut out the open-endedness of it, but... Man, playing those the Wind's Requiem over and over and over again is... I mean, it's not fun. So it's not, it's not like changing it would take the fun out of it. <laughs> there's no fun left! You're no fun anymore! And there it is, the last treasure chart from a reeve. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank goodness we've got those out of the way.